What's going on everybody? I'm Johnny Brook. Welcome back to another Crafted Workshop video. This is our first metalworking and machining video. Hopefully you enjoy. I created this knob a couple weeks ago while I was messing around on the metal lathe and today I want to try to replicate it and also kind of walk you guys through the steps of making a knob like this on a metal lathe. So let's get started. One of the biggest things to learn with the metal lathe is you're going to be using these knobs and levers to control your tool rather than hand holding a tool like you would on the wood lathe. So uh, it's a little less intuitive I think. Uh, obviously you have to figure out what all the knobs do and then just get the muscle memory down so that you can repeat these processes over and over again. The first thing to do is gonna be taking our stock, one inch round rod, this is aluminum, uh, 6061 aluminum. I bought this 24 inch piece from Amazon for like 12 bucks, super cheap. So the first thing we're gonna need to do is cut a piece off of this. I'm going to use what's called a cutoff tool. And so it's basically just a little blade here and you need to align the tip of the blade with the center. Uh, you do that by aligning the, the dead center in the tailstock and the tip of the blade. I've already done that. And it's pretty simple. You basically just go to the point where you wanna cut it off. And I'm gonna cut it off very close to the chuck just to give us as much work piece as possible. And you wanna set your RPM fairly low for cutting off just to keep the heat down. And on aluminum, it's a really good idea to use WD-40 because aluminum's so soft, it's not gonna generate quite as much heat as something like steel where you're gonna need really an oil for that. Make sure you're wearing safety glasses when using the lathe. Uh, the lathe is a very dangerous tool if you do not know what you're doing and safety glasses are definitely essential. So make sure your chuck is nice and snug. So when you're parting off a piece using the metal lathe, you want to go slow and consistent. That's going to keep your piece from chattering too much and heating up too much. On this lathe, this is the Precision Matthews 1022V. It's a variable speed metal lathe and it does have power crossfeed, but I'm still kind of new to the lathe and I like to do this manually as it gives me better control over the lathe. Piece of stock, part it off. So now we need to change our tooling. So this is a really nice system. This is a quick change tool rest. I don't know how you would work with that one realistically because it just speeds things up so much. All right, so now the first thing you need to do once you have a piece cut to size is you need to do what's called facing the workpiece, which is basically just gonna be removing a small amount of material from the face and the sides of the workpiece just to give you a nice flat clean surface to work off of so you're going to just use a cutting tool for that uh, this is a right facing cutting tool so you're going to want to set uh, just a small amount of material to take off and uh, you can just kind of eyeball that and you're going to want to probably do about a thousand rpm for this cutting All right, so you can see that gives us one really nice clean face there. Now we're gonna do the same thing on the edge. The lathe will automatically move the tool. You get a much nicer surface finish. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so as you can see, that leaves us with a really nice smooth surface on both the face and the sides of the workpiece. Next, let's change our tool again and we are going to put a little chamfer on the outside edge of our piece and to do that we're going to use this tool here this is another cutting tool but instead of the point of the tool being pointed to one direction it's straight ahead with these 45 degree angle cutters on either side so that will give you a really nice chamfer switch back to our right cutting tool so here I'm just using that cutting tool again to hog away material until I get down to the final diameter of the shaft this also puts a nice little chamfer on the other edge of the knob and gives the knob a really nice look let's go ahead and do our knurling as you can see it's just two wheels you're gonna turn the speed down 
probably around two to 300. Definitely want to use some WD-40 uh, and just slowly apply pressure. So let's go. Now you've got some knurling applied. And all I do at this point is some sanding. I usually start with 80 grit sandpaper and then work my way up to 320. All right, once you're done with sanding and finishing, uh, next you need to part off the piece. So again, we're gonna use this parting or cutoff tool, uh, same process as before. You're gonna wanna turn down the speed on your lathe, about 250 RPM or so. And there is our parted off knob. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to tap a hole here in the end of the knob so that we can run a bolt into it and attach it to a cabinet. All right, for drilling and tapping the hole, I'm gonna use the drill press. This could be done at the lathe, but since this workpiece is so small, it's a little awkward to try to get it perfectly balanced on the lathe chuck. I'll have a link to this tapping kit in the description, but it's pretty simple. Just drill a hole, and then after the hole is drilled, you'll run your tap through it. So let's go ahead and get started. So when you're tapping a hole, you really want to try to keep your tap as vertical as possible. You can also use a little compressed air to clean out the hole and to clean off the tap. And so once you've gone to full depth, you're just gonna to wanna to run the tap through a couple times just to really clean up. And then the one last thing you might wanna do is just to remove the burr here is use a countersink. That bolt goes on there nicely. All right, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you're not into metalworking or machining, don't worry, I'll be back to woodworking next week. But if you are at all interested and don't have a metal lathe or don't have the resources to purchase one, uh, check around locally. Uh, there are lots of resources available. Some maker spaces might have metal lathes available. You'd be surprised. There are a lot of retired machinists out there who have metal lathes hanging around in their garage and would be more than happy to show you the ropes. Uh, if you enjoyed, definitely go ahead and get subscribed. I have new project videos every Tuesday. Also, I've started a second channel for all of the weekly maker roundups. I'm also gonna have some more of my what's in my workshop videos. Uh, if you're interested in that kind of content, go ahead and get subscribed to the second channel. And if you wanna support me a little further, check me out on Patreon. I have some behind the scenes access there, and I'm also planning some patron only giveaways once we kind of get rolling on Patreon. Thanks again for watching guys, and until next time, happy building.